Welcome to CUWFalcons.com. We're joined today by head cross-country coach Russ Delap as the Falcons prepare for the NAC championships. And coach, before we get into this weekend, just give us a, a rundown of your season so far. It's been a pretty successful year, a lot of PRs for a lot of runners on your team, specifically a couple of weeks ago at Benedictine. But what have you seen from your runners so far this year? Uh, well, they... Uh Really good group, really good freshman uh, class that came in. All are uh, came in pretty well prepared. Uh, the workload that I've been giving them, they've uh, taken it um, and worked really hard. And like you said, I believe everybody that uh, hasn't been sick or, or injured has hit an all-time PR. And uh, this has been one of the best seasons overall as a team I, I think that we've had in a long time. Now you mentioned the freshmen. Let's start with the women's team. You look at your top group of runners, and a lot of them are freshmen. A lot of times it's four of the top five, at least three in there. One of them specifically, Bethany Coop. She's been your top runner all season long. Talk about her a little bit and what she's done for your team. Yeah, Bethany uh, comes in with uh, a really good high school career um, and, and just a very passionate runner. Um, very talented and um, works really hard and she's really uh, just a overall good good runner and she's really been uh, turning it on lately too uh, along with some of the other freshmen. Now one runner that, that I know you've been really excited about that's had an outstanding season is Jessica Rice. She has had put together career races back-to-back -back times. I think it's three straight PRs now. Talk a little bit about her and her, her season this year. Yeah, Jess Rice is, is just, uh, I don't I I told her it, it took two and a half years to get here, but uh, she really had what I would call a miraculous race. Uh, I mean, she has improved by minutes, which is unheard of. And uh, I just hope she can keep it going I mean she's probably had the best season of anyone on the team um, and and you know the thing with her too she persevered through a lot of difficult um, times not improving for two years and and really stuck with it uh, kept working hard and and now she's uh, top five and and looking to be on the regional team which is a huge step for her and and great things are happening for her. Now before we get in the men, let's look ahead for the women this weekend. Uh, what do you expect to see out of the other teams in the conference? Where do you think your team fits in there as, as you compete in the NAC championships? Yeah, realistically, Aurora's, Aurora's stacked. They're deep. They're ranked, uh, last time I looked, they were ranked fifth in, in the Midwest. Uh, they're probably going to repeat as champions and then and we're going to compete with them. Um, but really, we're right up there with Aurora and, and Edgewood, and, and that's kind of where I see us at, at the top of the conference and somewhere in that second, third uh, spot, and, and if great things happen, maybe first. Now we switch over to the men's side. It's been a little different at the top of your lineup. It seems to be a different runner each week. For a while, it was Mielbeck, but unlike where the women's coop, it's been every week. You have a, about a group of four or five that really could be your top runner any week. What have you seen from the men's team? Yeah, the men, uh, some, of the, some of the guys that are coming on started out slow. Uh, Bernal, uh, Rutkowski, uh, a freshman kid that I have, have uh, high hopes on, uh, was injured mid-season, so he had to take a couple weeks off. I'm looking for him to have a big race. Uh, Mike Taylor, uh, sophomore, is coming on real strong. Uh, he's been anywhere from second to third runner. Uh, and then, of course, Rob Mielbeck, uh, our senior, you know, really looking for him to have a, a great race at, at conference. Um, and then uh, Chris Beesbohr, uh looking for him. Uh, this is his final year. I uh, hope that he can uh, break out uh, a big race. And we're going to need it. We're going to need We're going to need great races from our top seven or eight guys in order for us to compete at the top of our conference. Yeah, what, what are you seeing uh, f 
from the rest of the conference, uh, as you guys get ready, where do you think your team fits in? The women near the top, men, same expectations? Uh, men, top top three. Uh, again, Aurora has is, is, is got um, 10 of the top 14 runners in the conference, so they're going to be you know, tough to beat. And then MSOE and, and us are right there uh, competing, I think, for that for second place or at the top of the conference. All right, well, the cross-country teams, they are uh, running towards the final leg of their season. Got the NAC championships this weekend, two weeks away from the uh, Midwest Regional Meet. Coach, good luck this weekend. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.